God's word is whatever proceeds out of the mouth of God. Even in the Bible, God's word is quoted in the Bible as the word of the Lord, everything that Jesus said, and what the Holy Spirit said, and what Paul or any disciple of Jesus, what God said to them when they just spoke what the Lord told them. Like, for example, when um, Paul was in prison or was about to be, Jesus told him to keep going, that you will not be harmed, basically. That is God's word to Paul. Now, what is not God's word is what I say or what Paul says for the most majority of everything, or Peter, or anyone that, um, like, anything that someone says is not God's word. The narrators are not God's word. Anything that proceeds out of the mouth of God is God's word. That is flat out just how it is and is. And let me give you this simple example. So, if I tell a businessman that we're going to get good sales this year by doing something and the businessman tells me how do i know that this is true i will t i would tell that businessman well i can't guarantee that but you you'll just have to trust my word it's and the businessman will be like all right i'm going to keep your word and that's the word of man. Paul's words, all of the disciples' words after Jesus ascended up to heaven to what they narrated and wrote down in the Bible, that is inspiration from the Spirit of God and inspiration from Jesus. And that's just flat out as it is because You've got a lot of churches and a lot of pastors and Christians that say, no, the Bible is the word of God. The Bible is the word of God. But yet they refuse to go to the one who is living and his words are sharper than a double-edged sword. They confuse even the scripture that I just referred to um, as, as a proof that the Bible is the word of God. Guys, that is a false teaching. That is a sham. It is actually very bad that they're even lying to you. And it doesn't even matter if they're in deception believing that is true. It doesn't matter. You're still speaking lies and deceptions. And the Bible can't even define what sin is. It just tells what sin is. And what defines is or excuse me what defines sin is not the bible it's actually jesus who defines sin that's why jesus promised the holy spirit not the bible not scripture he didn't promise that the scriptures would give you eternal life either as many christians are deceived and jesus did not promise that even church would save your eternal eternity jesus promised the holy spirit and jesus promised that his true worshipers would worship him in truth and in spirit. And it was not in church that we would follow him, or it was not scripture that would give us eternal life, but it would be that we would be guided by the Holy Spirit and that we would be taught by the Spirit. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons and daughters of God. That is what Paul said, that is inspired by the Spirit of God. And whoever wrote it in the Bible or wrote that down in scripture for the New Testament saying that the word of God is active and alive and is sharper than any double-edged sword, it defines from bone from marrow and mentions something about judging correctly and all that stuff. I can't remember exactly. Who, is, is he talking about the Bible? Is he talking about the scriptures? No, of course not. He's talking about Jesus. He's talking about the living God. And that is true. The 
when I'll actually give this example right off the bat. When Stephen was before the Sanhedrin, did he have scripture to just look up all that um, that supposedly would build a defense case for the Sanhedrin of why he said what he said? No, he had the spirit of God. And even what was written down that Luke, um, what he heard and reported on and wrote down, um, all that he said, you guys, um, he had the Holy Spirit. He didn't need to have scripture right before his fingertips. He had the Holy Spirit within him. And don't be mistaken that the Holy Spirit, or excuse me, don't be mistaken that that supposedly the Holy Spirit resides only in the Bible or that God resides in the Bible only. No, there are many spiritual experiences that still happen to this day. And one that happened before literally the whole world to see was when God literally saved Trump before the whole world, but yet the world still rejects Jesus. I don't know 100% or even a percent of what God allowed Satan to do to Donald Trump, but the evidence is clear so far before he ends up in office. Because as of right now, it is November 7th, 2024. So anything from then to inauguration day could happen. But the evidence is this. The word of God is active and alive. His words are truly sharper than any double-edged sword. There are things that Jesus has told me personally that have convicted me. And I've been shaken a few times. Because his words were, are, were and are terrifying and are in an amazement to hear in spirit and loud in spirit to where you can actually hear him clearly in the spirit. So to flat out tell you guys, God's word is nowhere um, what comes out of Paul's mouth 99.99% of the time. God's word is what um, is whatever proceeds out of the mouth of God. And that is the true, the truth of God's word or the word or the word of God. I never really was into this deep, deep when I was a kid trying to understand the Bible or trying to get close to Christianity or churchianity. But the but the fact is is this i was not really deep into it but now that i really am in trying to get things right with jesus really learning who god is ever since jesus revealed himself to me i now know that he is a living god no one can deceive me even though satan tries to throw his darts at me i will not let anything try to let me stay down I will continue to fight the good fight against the devil and religious devils that try to deceive many Christians and tries to even deceive me saying, no, you need to go to church for salvation. You need to go to the scriptures to be fed right. No, you need to go to the word of God directly in spirit and in truth and worship him in, tr in spirit and in truth. That is the fact. And anyone who says, says this, is antichrist or anyone who tries to say that um that going to church is biblical no that's antichrist now if jesus tells you from his lips to go to a church then you better obey the word of the lord or you are antichrist so listen to my words very carefully and don't take my word for it take god's word for it not that I'm saying that my words are from God, but that I have gained a clear understanding that God's word is what proceeds out of the mouth of God. What I tell you today is God's inspiration or what, or excuse me, what is inspired by God. Forgive me saying that backwards, but moreover, you guys, Listen to the word of God from his lips. May Jesus Christ bless you.